What is up, everybody? It's Sam, and we are back with another episode of Pessimistic at Best, the podcast. And I have James with me on the pod. Hey, James. How you doing? Good. How are you? Chilling. It's a Sunday. It is a Sunday. It feels like a Sunday. This is like one of the most Sunday Sundays ever. I feel like Sundays feel really Sunday in fall. I feel that. I feel like something about, maybe it's because like f- I see like neighbors are watching football. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> what it is. but That like, probably adds to it. You're yeah. thinking about Packer food? Yeah. I love Damn. Packer food. We got to hit your parents' house for a game. Yeah, we do. My parents always, my dad's a big Packer fan. Classic. And yeah, um, <laughs> what, what dad in Madison isn't. <laughs> And I, I I don't care at all about football, but I like Packer Sundays because at my parents' house, when I used to live there, <laughs> <laughs> it was always just so nice. I feel like my dad would always make a fire. My mom would always make Packer food, as she calls it, which is pretty <laughs> much just like a charcuterie board yeah. with some snacks. Is there like taco dip involved? Sometimes. Okay. Just depends. on. Sometimes she'll make like um, Texas caviar. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. And then like meat and cheese. It's the best. Yeah. I mean, that's all you need, really. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, we don't, no packer food at our house today. Yeah. Um, not much food at all. Some caramel apples, but that's about it. Yeah. We've really only had one meal. Yeah. We've been asleep for 75% of the day. Yeah, for real. We are hungover. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, we went to Ancora this morning, one of my absolute most favorite breakfast spots. I decided actually today that that is my happy place. You did. You announced that. I said that to you. (laughs) (laughs) We went back for the second time this weekend. We went there on Saturday as well. But we had to go back because on Saturday we didn't have enough time to actually have a meal because they were insanely busy. So food was going to take an hour an hour that we did not have. I guess it was homecoming weekend, which I didn't realize. um, Yeah, it was popping. For the Badgers, for UW. But I don't know, just a big crowd, and it was so busy there. So, But then they had... So Ancora does seasonal menus. It's So their fall one right now, they just switched it a couple days ago. And I was hoping that it would have the maple sausage sandwich on it, which I knew was on their spring menu. And we haven't had it all summer. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't on the fall menu, but it was their weekend special this weekend. So we obviously had to go back today. And we didn't really start going there until spring. So like, you were super used to the, like right when we got into Angkor, you were... That was my go-to meal. Yeah, it was just there every time. So Mm -hmm. I was happy for you. Thank you. (laughs) It was a big deal. It was. (laughs) I mean, we didn't make it to breakfast until 1 p.m., but that's fine. Yeah, more of a brunch. Yeah. If you will. <laughs> Basically a late lunch at that point. But yeah, I love Ancora. It is my happy place. If you've never been, you absolutely have to go. The coffee is delicious. The seasonal menus are phenom no matter what season it is. There's always something tasty. Oh yeah. Good and the vibes. vibes are great. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> and I got a free orange juice today. So Yeah. We weren't supposed to tell anybody, but Oh, that's right. So now you guys just can't tell anybody either. Yeah. Shh. Keep our secret. Yeah, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, otherwise, we didn't really do anything today because we're horribly hungover, and that's sometimes how it has to be. Yeah, sometimes that's what Sundays are for. Yeah. I will say, I feel like that also takes away some of the fun Sundayness. Like, I just feel like a lazy piece of shit, but that's fine. Well, you're, like, especially weird because you, like, kind of like being hungover, which I don't (laughs) really know if that, like... (laughs) trait exists in anyone else on the planet but you just get in this giggly mood which you which i mean that's the part you like but it's so silly (laughs) it depends on the hangover obviously because like sometimes you have ones where it's just so bad you can't even be silly but (laughs) i just feel like i'm operating at this glacial pace and everything's funny yeah you're like a little sloth yeah (laughs) (laughs) and like i just feel so stupid too like i feel like that's why everything's funny yeah, right. Like, I just feel like my brain's off and yeah, I'm just being a silly goose. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like that slap happy, yeah. overtired type of vibe. Yeah, but um, but yeah, but this hangover has lasted all day, which is sort of rude, to be honest. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. You, did, you are? Yeah. Well, you did. You took a nap. I didn't really nap. I just kind of laid there for five hours. You're so bad at hours. sleeping. I am pretty bad at it, yeah. 
Like if I, I could be asleep right now. You fall to. asleep so fucking fast, it blows my mind. <laughs> and I can always uh, tell because like your body starts doing these weird twitches. <laughs> it was within minutes of you putting your head on any type of pillow. Today you like asked me, are you asleep? And that's annoying because I was about to be asleep. <laughs> and then you're like, are you sleeping? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> you, we're in bed <laughs> with our eyes closed. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> uh, I just feel like, I don't know. I was bored. I was being, you were, I felt left out. No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I could tell. I could hear it in your tone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll happen. But hopefully I won't be hung. I just feel like this is really lasting me a while. I did. I kind of. I think I whacked out a little bit last night, though. So yeah, I'm not surprised. I feel this way. <laughs> Got some food in you, though, so that yeah. is better than not having anything in your system. True. Yeah. Yeah. We went out for the Badger game that I didn't even know was happening until later in the day. Yeah. Um, to send off Jack. Jack, if you're listening, we'll miss you. Yes. Have a good trip, man. Go Badgers. We won, even though we sucked this year. I yeah. wasn't even paying attention. I had to ask you this morning if we won the football game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All I heard, la- I mean, I don't know shit either, but all I was hearing last night is that we should have crushed them and we didn't, but we won at least. We suck. You got to win your homecoming game. For real. Do they, si- do they like sign up teams that are shittier than them? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yes. They like make it so you win? Yeah. Where you, you heard that at the bookstore or something? I think, I, I'm pretty sure that's just true. Yeah. That's nice of the other team. That's so funny. Like, you're going, yeah, we're playing their homecoming game. Yeah, we're gonna then lose. you know that you're <laughs> about to get dusted. <laughs> and then you're a dick if you beat them. Yeah. My, uh, I forgot who sent it in my group chat, but there was this, like, parent who was about to, like, file a complaint or did. I mean, I don't think there's, like, any type of lawsuit or anything. But basically, somewhere near Madison, this high school soccer team beat another team, like, 17 to 0. And they were going to, like sue them i don't it wasn't gonna be a sue but like a lawsuit or anything but i just thought that was hilarious like what parent you have to be such a bitch of a parent to yeah. do that dude like, wow, that's shut crazy. Up. like yeah we get it that they, they suck and they shouldn't have like been a match that. apparently it was because the like lead striker was gonna beat a record so he got 16 of the 17 goals and that was some type of record <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> that shit's so funny but like oh my god fuck off with the like complaining shit yeah that was hilarious. But yeah. Similar, Parents love to complain thing. though. They're so good at it. <laughs> they really are. Parents should be on my podcast. So true. <laughs> oh shit. You've been looking for guests. Any parents listening? Come on. Yeah. Oh, you got kids? You want to come on my podcast? <laughs> for real. I mean, yeah. No wonder they have so much to complain about having a kid. Yeah. I, I don't like kids. I'm not, in, <laughs> I'm not into those. <laughs> and I have enough to complain about as is. So true. So no thanks. Right. But here we are. We're recording this podcast. This is our first podcast with, um, what are these? Um, they're like foam tops for the microphones. They're basically pop filters. Pop. <laughs> Testing the limits. <laughs> Those peas still might come through. They're not perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's probably going to hurt your ears. Sorry, everyone. But, um, but yeah, that's fun. This was also maybe going to be our first video podcast but it just didn't it didn't happen today folks it didn't transpire <laughs> yeah <laughs> we will do it eventually i also look like shit right now so i think it's probably for the best yeah but we got a new lens for my camera we're gonna fuck up some video shit it'll be cool it's gonna be so cool and that's why you should join my patreon because otherwise you will not see it and it's your loss exactly but yeah thanks for buying me these Pop filters. Love you. You're welcome. They're kind of fun. They look cool. Yeah, I feel like my mics look even more official now. Yeah, they look more like newscastery. Yeah. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. I feel like I am on the news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I say is newsworthy, so. So true. Mm-hmm. You are the news. I am I am the news. I am weed. <laughs> <laughs> the, that's produced a lot of really good memes. Yeah, I've seen some really good ones. I love memes. Memes are culture. So true. But yeah, what else did we do this weekend? We went to a pumpkin patch. That's cute. That was cute in fall of us. So fall. So autumn. So autumn. (laughs) Yeah. No, I love fall. This is such a great time of year. And like, I don't know. It's just nice to go and do some of those cliche things once in a while. Oh, for sure. I mean, you probably said 10 times each day, this is the best weather. (laughs) Yeah, it really is. I love, I love like crisp 
crisp kind of chilly days, but then when you're in the For sun sure. and it's so nice. Yeah, and you get to have layers on, all the classics. Oh, God, and you can really be dressing in fall. My outfits mm-hmm. have been on point. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just love boots. I love. Uh, I love. A, I love a jacket. No, for sure. We love a jacket. Jackets can do so much. A but scarf. Other things can't. I haven't worn a scarf yet, but soon. Mm-hmm. Love a scarf. Yeah, I had a beanie on, beanie on last night, and I kind of felt like a poser. <laughs> like I feel like people were looking at me like it's not that cold, dude. Shut up. But I mean, it was probably it nice when we were outside, but then we went inside, and then exactly. I don't, you just kind of look dumb, but then you can't yeah. take it off because your hair will look crazy. It was worth it, though, for outside, because I feel like I would have been really cold. Yeah. In the Rockies parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good old Rockies. Love that place. Oh, yeah. Classic. Stomping grounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never been in Lucky's before. Have you? No, that place is fucking huge. It was dude. way bigger than I... And also, I just... I don't know. I felt like I was in northern Wisconsin. Yeah, ick. <laughs> so, something to think about. Was it literally playing country music? They were playing some random shit. Definitely a lot of like the classic, like white kids love this song kind of vibe. Sure. There were a lot of white kids in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Us included. Yep. But yeah, not like all country. I mean, they played a little bit of pop and stuff. So that's good for them. Getting really diverse with it. Love to see it. (laughs) You absolutely love to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just been kind of a, a, a kind of a chill weekend. I mean, we didn't do anything too crazy. No, yeah. It's and been we nice. have to clean off our pumpkin. We do need to still, yes. We got a nice flat white pumpkin this year. It's kind of a silly. I'm going to use it as a centerpiece. Wait for what table? Just on our on our counter. Oh, okay, okay. On our island. Next to the big plant. Uh, yeah. I guess I don't know. That feels like two relatively similar sized things. Okay, stop being a hater. Okay, something to think about. Don't think about that, anybody. Don't even think about it. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Don't think about that. <laughs> we'll post pictures, though, and you can let us know if it looks cool. Or if you're lucky, maybe you'll get invited over to my house. Or my house. I, we have been getting a lot of compliments on our apartment recently, and that is something that uh, goes straight to my head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always try to pass the credit off to you because I didn't really do anything. Yeah, this is all me. Yeah. No, you did a really good job. I love my apartment. It's my pride and joy. And if you have seen it, <laughs> you probably love it too. <laughs> <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and that's why our video podcast will hopefully be cool. But our apartment is messy today. And I'm also in like, I, I think these pants that I have on, I, I got these at Dig and Save. Okay. Like a while back when I went with you. Sure. And I'm pretty sure these are like maternity pants or like grandma <laughs> pants. They're like super stretchy. Yeah. And the waist goes up so high. That sounds kind of nice. It's really comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want those. I get really sensitive around my stomach. The, the I, you put, I mean, they're tight still. Oh. You probably wouldn't like them. Then, then I actually mind. think about that every time that I put these on because of how you have that issue with your tummy. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. They just can stretch. They yeah, don't. they can stretch really far. Not, yeah, okay. And these ones also are, not, I, yeah, we wouldn't want to be on the video podcast in these. They're like skin <laughs> colored. They're like, they're probably the grossest pair of pants that I own. Wait, let me see these. You oh, the those one. ones. Yeah, okay, okay. So probably, yeah. Not yeah. not a flattering pair of pants by any means. We're doing you guys a favor. Yeah. <laughs> cameras off. <laughs> <laughs> no cameras on for this Zoom meeting. And we spent some time with Adam this weekend. Lots of quality time with Adam. Oh, Adam, yeah. we love you. We're sad that you're moving or, you know, probably someday. Yeah. He's my last friend here and he says he wants to leave in a matter of months, which seems rude, but I get it. Ugh. Yeah. No friends. It's just tough. You'll survive. You have so many friends. That must be nice for you. Yeah, it is pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a few? They're all your friends. Come on. Yeah, it's just different. Think about the last two guests you had on your podcast. Those are my friends, but also your friends. Yeah, you guys are such good sports. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for adopting me, everybody. Um, but yeah, if you are in need of a friend, so am I. So hit me up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you sound so needy when you say that. <laughs> I feel like I've been like drunkenly telling a lot of people that I have no friends, too. And you're always like, hey, maybe you should stop doing that. Yeah, but it's kind I'm of just embarrassing, being honestly. Honest. It's pretty embarrassing. 
Why? You just sound like a loser. <laughs> you I said it to like loser. three people last night. I'm like, damn. I am a loser. That's true. At least you're being true to yourself. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Do we want to move? I know we've considered it. I do love Madison, but ugh, I'm bored. <laughs> I love Madison. Yeah, I'm not bored, but I wouldn't be bored other places too so i'm down yeah i don't know i go back and forth i do like it here i also love that i live like a two minute walk from work i love my apartment there are so many good things here family but also we yeah i don't know we could always come back i also hate moving so moving does suck yeah it's really bad this is the first time i haven't moved yeah it's amazing it's awesome yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're just like seeing people with their giant u-hauls and you're not doing that and you're like yes yeah (laughs) so true that is totally what it's like um but yeah what else is coming up my mom's turning 60 that's kind of fun yeah i'm excited for her we're doing something wink wink yeah she can't know yeah um but yeah (laughs) turning 60 is kind of a big deal i feel like definitely so that's cool yeah yeah that is cool i'm glad i'm not 60 but i'm happy for her same Mm -hmm. (laughs) mm-hmm I wonder, like, when birthdays is, like, like I feel like 30 is going to feel pretty weird. 25 felt weird. 25 did feel weird. Yeah. I feel old. Sometimes I forget that I'm 25. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm 22, right? Well, even when we were at Ancora today, there were those, that group of girls, and I was like, if those girls are in college, I literally will kill myself. Like, yeah. I don't think they were. They couldn't have been. But they might have been you know like right what are you guys doing at ancora if you're not in college <laughs> dude man yeah on campus man those fucking little 18 year olds i know look infantile yeah it's messed up it is we're we're ancient yeah we're it's decrepit depressing <laughs> <laughs> what else i went for a run this weekend that was nice i literally haven't run in months so I just went for a little two miler. I will say running in fall, running in like crisp, cool air, yeah. much, much easier. Mm-hmm. You I overheat. I do overheat. So I'm prone to fainting. Yeah. And I just get really dizzy. I hate being hot. You've always been like that, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know what's up. I don't know if I just like don't perspire enough or like what. You're You're like hands and feet are cold. Like you don't have much blood flow i have really bad circulation yeah so i wonder if it's a part of that perhaps i've never gotten it checked out so yeah, something to look into <laughs> but yeah my run got canceled i was supposed to be running a marathon in actually like a week from or a month from this weekend basically oh wow it was on the 13th of november it feels like that should have already passed honestly and yeah, and I it got canceled, which fucking sucked. Um, but also, I have been so insanely busy that in a yeah. way it was like relieving. No, for sure. And my dad also is injured, which is a bummer because he was going to do it as well and he wouldn't have been able to. So, I mean, all things considered, like probably find find one to get canceled. But yeah, yeah, funny that I was supposed to be able to run twenty six point two miles in a month from t- today. <laughs> And I can barely run two miles. <laughs> so that's nice. But um, but yeah, it was really nice. I need to just do that more. I definitely have not been exercising at all whatsoever because work has just been crazy. And I don't know. For me, it's really hard to like fit that in when I get busy. Yeah. You hate doing shit after work. I hate it. Yeah. yeah. I, I really like to go before work. And for me, work starts at 830, which is fucking early. So... It is, yeah. kind of hard to squeeze in a run. I I can do it on, like, a work-from-home day, but if I have to, like, also shower and get ready and, like, be somewhere looking presentable by 8.30, that's so different. Yeah, that is. So it's actually really funny, too, because now that I go in the office a few days a week, like, I like like it, and I go in on those days, and, you know, like, I I look nice. But now, then on my Zoom days, my work-from-home days, I look like absolute shit because I'm like, you know what, I have to put... Full effort in now, two days a week. So I'm putting zero in the rest of the time. No, that's fair. That's fair. Because <laughs> I feel like before when I was all work from home, I would like try to look fine. Yeah, you'd distribute it more evenly. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's just like spikes on those two yes. days. No, that's fair. Uh, yeah, I look like a little gremlin in all my Zoom meetings, but that's fine. Obviously, if I have a client facing meeting, I look nice. But yeah, half the time we're cameras off anyway. So I'm kind of glad my whole work is no cameras because... 
I can just look like shit every day. Yeah. <laughs> what you do? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had a reason to like care about my appearance yeah. daily. Because I can really get through like the whole week without doing anything. Mm-hmm. So. Well, and that's another part that has been sucking about being so fucking busy. There have just been some days where I feel like I haven't even like gone outside. That's so gross. I hate that. Yeah. I mean, getting outside every day is super important. Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard. Especially when it gets colder. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I will say the winter is impending. impending oh, for doom. sure. Definitely. It's but um, up. But fall has been really nice. I feel like this has been the most folly fall we've had in a really long time. Yeah, I feel like this whole year, like, we actually kind of got a longer spring than mm-hmm. usual. Usually it's just, like, mushy and then turns to summer. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So that was a nice change of pace. Yeah. Totally. And I just feel like we've actually gotten a lot of, like, those nice crisp days. And I feel like normally it stays hotter longer, but this has been, like... Yeah. Something about the different time of years, I feel like I feel the year going by really fast or slow. Like, something about, like, the end of summer, I'm like, oh, my God, this year is going by so fast. But, like, right now in these last couple weeks, I'm like, it's been a long year. I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of weird to me. I feel like hearing that it's almost going to be, what... 2022 what year is it even yeah (laughs) it's like kind of crazy to me and that's kind of where i was but then like something about like the fall hitting yeah i'm like no like isn't it already 2022 i don't know i guess something some weird little matrix shit fall also always makes me really um like i don't know nostalgic for being a student yeah i hear that like we went and sat in that little cafe the other day because i had to work on the weekend and i was like let's at least try to find a way to make this fun yeah and we were just surrounded by students and i was like this is kind of nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going and like setting up shop somewhere it really is yeah I, I wish i could do that more during the week yeah it'd be fun to just be able to work anywhere yeah, it's just kind of, and like, I don't know, just like buying a $6 coffee. There's something nice about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> For some reason. So expensive. But um, yeah, I don't know. It has been, I that, that was just like a really nice, it, I was very nostalgic on that day. It was nice. And yeah, it was like was my favorite day. coffee shop, fair trade, that we Mm-hmm. that i always studied in when i was when i was a student oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of crazy that it has has been and october's already almost over that's nuts yeah that's when i was like oh shit yeah i guess like halfway but i don't know still. i just like go back and forth between this has been the longest year of my life and this has been the fastest yeah <sighs> yeah and we have lots of fun things coming up i feel like fall is always so good for concerts i know i keep talking about my my list of shows yeah right <laughs> but we have some fun ones coming up and i am excited that could be like a whole segment on this show yeah it's like your upcoming shows if it's straight up so many i feel like we're also getting to that point in the year where if i schedule one more thing for the two of us you're gonna literally like blow your brains out this always fucking happens <laughs> <laughs> it's just the resurgence after covid you were just buying like a concert ticket every day James, every single year, it's not just the resurgence after COVID, but you can't even blame that on that because this happens every time. This happens I don't know always. if that's true. Yes, it is. No, I don't think that's true. I really like having things to look forward to and plans and fun little exciting trips <laughs> and whatever else that I can fill our calendars with. And James, like every single year he gets mad at me because i put too many things on his schedule and he's like I, like i'll bring up another show a good show someone we would love to go see and he'll be all <laughs> stinky about it and be like <laughs> uh, no but i do appreciate you booking shit for us it's always fun yeah for sure i i literally fill our calendars with fun things and yeah. he is so ungrateful it's unbelievable <laughs> what is that like you don't like having too many things on your schedule i love it i love it um i don't know i just like working on stuff and like waking up and being like what do i want to work on today and i can't do that always if i have a plan every night you know half of these aren't until like fucking april plenty of time to work on things until then but when we like are like planning them out it feels like they're all (laughs) coming up this week yeah well we do have two coming up this week, and I'm terribly excited. And we're we're coming for you, Ruth and Zoe, in Milwaukee. I'm excited for that. Um, yes. TV Girl is my all-time favorite band. And we're going to see them in Milwaukee at 
Colectivo. <laughs> so she can embarrass herself after the show again and talk to them while they're smoking cigarettes. Woo! I can't <laughs> wait. And last time I got merch. Maybe I'll buy some more merch. We'll see. There you go. Love merch. Got Okie Dokie on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. That'll be our first high noon show. Since co- since COVID? Yeah. Yeah. I love the high noon saloon. Great it's probably spot. my favorite venue in Madison. Yeah. Probably I same. just feel like the show, I don't know, The it's mo- smaller, so it's more intimate. Mm-hmm. I just feel like you actually, and plus they just bring some really good brands. Yeah. It's always a good time there. Mm-hmm. I also have high noon merch. Love that place. Yeah. <laughs> I like their logo, the sun. Yeah, it is really cool. I wear that shirt all the time. You do. But yeah, what else has been going on? I feel like our cats have been really annoying recently. Hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, they've been kind of on some bullshit. That's probably accurate. It's, they've right been now, really annoying like me asleep. lately. I don't know what... I feel like I feel like ever since we last took them to the vet and they told us that they were like fat. Yeah, we've been feeding them a little less. Yeah, and we get woken and up every like, morning now because they're hungry. Yeah, they like finish that. <clears throat> they finish that shit so quick. And I will say, Misho is so annoying. He knows all the ways to get us to wake up. No, he really does. He, he works like, those angles. Yeah. <laughs> he like literally gets up on the nightstand. Yep. And then starts fucking with our painting that's on the wall because it makes a bunch of noise. Yeah, he's actually a little punk. A little punk ass bitch. And there he is right now sleeping so sweet. Should we disturb him? See how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> a little payback. <laughs> Ah, uh, but yeah, they're so cute. Uh, no, so it's hard it's to get so mad. Hard to get mad at them. Yeah. But I do feel like they are fat, and now that we, <laughs> and ever since the vet kind of told us that they needed to lay off the food, you know, I just they're such little fatties. And like then we saw your parents' farm cats, who obviously have a very different lifestyle. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, our cats are just little roly poly. Yeah. Chubbies. They're not like terribly obese, but they. Are, you know, they're up there. They're up there. They got a couple extra pounds on them. Well, and I think it's funny because Misha's obviously the bigger one, but Beatrix is the fatter one, technically speaking. Yeah, I think so. so is that what they got said? Quite the belly on her. Yeah, yeah. She, they said like technically, like Misha has, he's bigger, but he's also bigger boned. So yeah, she was kind of like, yeah, this one. <laughs> Oh, Beatrix. My little fatty. That's why I've been trying to play more games with them and get the bird out, the little string toys and stuff. Yeah, okay. James bought this cat toy for us, for our for our kids. <laughs> um, He bought this cat toy. Where did you even see that? Like some random Instagram ad yeah, or something? Yeah, definitely. You buy way too many Instagram things, first they of all. They get my ass, man. The algorithm knows me. <laughs> James will purchase anything if it is... Uh, sent to him via an instagram ad yeah basically (laughs) if you want my money (laughs) but he found this cat toy that's like a remote controlled Mm, it's like robot not really remote controlled but it's like well there's a little cat remote yeah that just like pauses it but basically it just swings around it's got a little like it's like a circle, uh, circular base, kind of like a punching bag where it'll like roll around but stay weeble wobble yeah it's got a string with a feather attached and it just swings the little feather around and i get to chase it it's It's, awesome i hate it i think it's so annoying you hate all the fun toys yeah because they're all noisy and obnoxious and this one this one you bring it out and turn it on and then you put your stupid headphones on (laughs) so you can't hear it and then it's just like banging into things all over the house while i'm trying to work you got to put your headphones on (sighs) I'm about to get one that's like a no. Yes, the what the was one it? Another like, Instagram ad. Yeah, it's the same company. Oh my god! It's like a what are those things called that roll around and vacuum up shit? A Roomba. A Roomba. Yeah. No, we aren't. It's like a little Roomba, but it's got a thing on it. What on earth? We do not need this. They can just like auto sense where walls are and move around the room. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these these cats are so spoiled. Yeah, but they need to get their exercise in. That's why we just take them outside. They don't like it out there anymore, though. They hate outside. So how are you doing on your book club book? My book club book? Damn, put me on the spot. (laughs) I read one chapter. I love my Kindle, (laughs) but I need to actually read. Yeah, James got a Kindle, so that's exciting news for him. It is. He was jealous of mine, so. Yours is not even a real Kindle. It's a Kindle Fire. It's an Amazon Fire. A Kindle Fire. 
maybe. I Amazon think owns be, Kindle. Yeah, but I think it, yours is just an Amazon Fire. It's, it's like a, a the Kindle tablet. Fire. I don't know if that's true. Yes, because when I turn it on, it says Samantha's third Kindle Fire. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and I have had three, but it wasn't my fault. How did that happen? I actually don't know. I think the first two, it just like didn't work. So then my oh. aunt bought it for me like several Christmases ago. It's it is gift. actually really handy. I don't use it a ton, but it's yeah. nice for like traveling or and stuff because then you don't have to pack a big ass book. Yeah, that's what I'm excited about. I mean, I don't really read enough to really justify it, but. I prefer to read books like and turn pages. <laughs> I kind of like the percentage thing. I know you disagree, but it's kind of cool seeing like just percentage and not thinking about numbers of like pages. I guess. Because then I'm like. The percentage just stresses me out. I don't like it. Because like each percent just feels more uh, substantial than like one page. I guess. That's my theory. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a book club with James's family and his dad picked the first book. Snow I'm crash. only, I think, six or seven chapters in, so I'm also behind. But we have until Thanksgiving. We uh, we extend the deadline because we're all slow. Yeah. Shit's busy, man. It's hard to find time. We also, I, to my to my gals who are in my other book club, I haven't started that book yet. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have a date for that one, but I do need to get reading. But I'm excited to read that one. That's Sally Rooney's um, next book. And I've liked all of her books so far. She's normal people? Yeah. Yeah. Which also was a really, really good series if you haven't watched it yet. I mean, the, it's like sad and depressing, but it's really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I sort of love Is sad that a and depressing. Netflix show or something? Uh, Hulu, I Hulu. think. Mm -hmm. And then you got that funny ass poem book. I did. I got Kat Cohen's poem, book of poems. It's called um, God, I Feel Modern Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I read them and they're fucking hilarious. She is so funny. Yeah. She's so funny. I need to like finish that. <laughs> yeah. It's just a little treasure. Yeah. She you know? snapped. <laughs> yeah. She's hilarious. Um, that is, I really, if we go to New York to visit your brother mm -hmm. and Eileen, I really want to go and go to someone's shows. I want to see one of those. I want to see a show. Yeah. That'd be good. What is she, that place called? The Red Room or something? Well, she's she. that's Emily's show. Okay. And she's actually been on Emily's show a few times. But oh, um, nice. she also does one at Club Coming. And it's like a... I don't even know what you would call it. She like also sings. But it's like funny singing. Oh. Is, there's a word for it. Burlesque. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Yeah. That Which sounds fun. Which is kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would absolutely love to do that. I would love to go to New York, by the way. I think we should do it. And something okay. I'm interested in having you look into, which you keep saying you will, but you haven't. Oh, wow. Is, what is this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> is how you could work remote, please. Oh, yeah. From my laptop remote into my desktop. Yes. Yeah, we'll see. It'll be tough with my Mac probably, but it's just stupid because you work from home and people who work from home are supposed to be able to work from anywhere. That's the whole point of work from home. Now when you got a giant fucking tower Rainbow PC. Computer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Gaming gaming things are always rainbow. I think that's the silliest. Yeah. It makes no sense to me. I got most of this as like um a pre built computer through work. So I didn't really get to decide. But then I, as I was buying more upgrades and like a nicer desk or a nicer mouse and keyboard and shit, everything is R like RGB is what it's called. Rainbow shit. And it's like hard to find it not rainbow. That's it's so dumb. It's really weird. And like I know not every fucking gamer wants that. So yeah. maybe relax, guys. Right. Like wh what a strange. No, it's weird. And it's, it's so all strange. like configurable together. Like it's cool. The like, rainbow? the the lighting stuff itself oh so like i have a, <laughs> <laughs> like i have the mouse the keyboard and then a bunch of shit in my um tower has rgb and you can like all configure it together so it can all be like changing colors at the same time and stuff Ew, uh, <laughs> i hate it it's it's definitely stupid but it's kind of fun I think it's really interesting how ugly all gaming stuff is. Like, the rainbow stuff is ugly. I think the gaming chairs are so ugly. Yeah, they're all... Why they're are they all, so ugly? They're all er ergonomic or whatever. Trying to make it so you can game for longer. Keep it super comfortable and... That's so <laughs> like <form> ridiculous. <laughs> I do think it sucks that ergonomic things in general are hideous. Because <laughs> I would like a more comfortable chair. But also, I will not compromise... Yeah, I'm also style. not trying to pay 1200 for a fucking Herman Miller. 
Yeah. Maybe no. <laughs> Instead, we'll just pay, I don't know, a hundred bucks for these. Uh, these pretty chairs. Gorgeous mid-century modern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. This is, it's super out of place in our awesomely furnished apartment. Your gaming stuff? Yeah. Yeah. An eyesore. <laughs> yeah. Got to get a den next place. I guess, where you can hide away and never be seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll move. Maybe we won't. Who knows? It's tough to say. Only time Only time will tell. <laughs> I think we can wrap around up. Sure. If it's that good feels good to you. It was great talking to great you. Nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for spending this however long. You're welcome. Um, with me. And thank you guys for listening. I love you guys. And I will look forward to chatting with you again next week. I hope you have a wonderful week and an amazing fall couple of days. <laughs> Another cathartic convo in the books. I feel better. How about you? Thank you so much for listening. Now I just want to jump on here and say, don't forget to follow and or subscribe to the pod on your favorite streaming platform for new episodes every single week because I know you can't get enough of me. Additionally, if you want to gain access to exclusive episodes and behind the scenes bloopers and lots of other goodies, join our Patreon and support the pod with your hard-earned American dollars. You can find the link in our show notes or you can also visit us at patreon.com slash pessimistic at best. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at pessimistic at best. And if you're as obsessed with me as I am with you, you can find me at Sam Georgeson on all platforms. And last but not least, I'd like to give a special shout out to my podcast editor and producer, the love of my life, James Arbae, whom I literally could not do this without. So thank you, James. I love you so much. And thank you guys for joining me again this week. I love you too. And I cannot wait to chat with you again soon.